Hey y'all and welcome to How to Stay at Home Ec. Um, so today I'm actually coming to you from a place that is not my home. Um, Jeremy and I have taken a small road trip. We are, I think, probably about 70-ish miles um, southeast of Dallas, Texas. We um, found a, con a condo on um, that's lakeside. Uh, we're on the fourth floor, but we found a condo that is lakeside um, in Corsicana, Texas, and I am absolutely loving it. Um, our little condo is delicious. It has a patio that I'm planning on being on um, until the sun uh, makes it impossible <laughs> for me to be here. Um, so I'm super grateful to come uh, to you today from this place. I hope that your day is lovely as well. Um, our video today is actually going to be on menu planning for the week. So when, um, or actually, uh, maybe a week or two ago, I did a video on Ural style um, meal planning based on seasonal foods. That is an excellent way to eat. It's an it's a it's a beautiful way to eat. I find it very easy to. Um, eat and find enjoyment in artisan type foods and eating from your local farmers. Um, that is one of my favorite ways to eat and I will continue eating um, in that style as much as possible. Um, today I'm going to um, kind of talk about a little bit more of maybe an approachable and plan-based um, weekly menu. Um, that I think can be integrated with a Euro style meal plan sort of situation so that you can get the best of both, both worlds. So when Jeremy and I were looking for a place um, to, you know, shelter in place, um, we, or like, I, I guess when I went to start looking initially, I was looking for a place that um, ticked a couple of safety boxes for us. Um, one is that we didn't have to leave the, the comfort and confines of our own space um, to enjoy a beautiful location. So I definitely wanted an outdoor space that was specifically ours that we didn't have to worry about being around other people. So this patio space was, you know, uh, uh, exactly what I was looking for. Even though it's small, I can sit on my patio and see the water. That makes it so that I don't feel necessarily like I have to venture out if there's people around. Um, social distancing isn't an issue. Um, and so I can, you know, I can be in this place. We also decided to go um, Sunday to Wednesday instead of over the weekend. I would imagine that this beautiful lake situation would be um, a little bit more uh, populated. On the weekends so we decided to go during the week um, Jeremy can work from home he's working from home right now uh, and then the other thing is that I didn't have to I tried to plan it so that I didn't have to go to any grocery stores or any places that I'm not familiar with there are a few places in Dallas that I absolutely support um, they are doing a really good job of you know enforcing masks and social distancing or like recommending it and then following through on making it easy for that to happen. Um, I think that there are some businesses that are really standing out um, in our communities for just making it easy to do the right thing. All right. So um, I absolutely love those places. I want to support those places. And if I'm going to go out um, and I'm going to travel, I definitely want to continue to support the places that are doing a really good job. And also I want to um, 
like if, if I'm going to travel. I like the idea of having most of the things with us if we've got room in the car so that we don't have to go to a grocery store if we don't have to. So I actually did a meal planning, a weekly meal planning um, situation uh, so that we could come here. And we brought everything that we needed so that we don't have to go to a store. Um, so we drove into our parking spot. You know, we had to cart it all upstairs. But you would with, you know, groceries if we shopped here as well. We carted it all upstairs. We put it in the refrigerator and we don't need to leave for the next couple of days. Um, so, uh, and we're all set for food. We have everything that we need. Kind of like camping. It kind of felt like camping. But in order to do that, I needed to um, schedule or I needed to schedule a, a, or um, list out a meal plan. And so I wanted to go over weekly meal planning with you. Like I said, super approachable um, and COVID safe, uh, COVID friendly way to do your shopping. Um, we talked a little bit about having basic things in your pantry, um, like an acid, an oil of some sort. So acid being um, vinegar, whether it's like red wine or apple cider vinegar um, or lime or lemon, um, having that at your disposal for um, brightness an oil, so whether that's butter, whether that's olive oil, extra virgin oil, olive oil, or vegetable oil, whatever your fancy is, salt and pepper, um, oil, I think I can, I think oil, I said butter, but I'm going to say it again if I didn't, because butter is my favorite. Um, uh, yeah, uh, salt and pepper, and then having, you know, your cooking vessels and things like that. I think that if you have those things, you can make a lot of foods. Um, and so, you know, that, that is a good start. Uh, and our meals looked a little bit different um, and a little bit more meal prep. I would say that this is a lot more sort of family friendly because we ordered from Costco who would deliver to us um, for a small fee, I think now, um, or maybe I think if you order $75 or more, it's free. Um, so we had a grocery delivery uh, to our house with everything that we needed in it. Um, and then we just brought all of that with us. Um, so uh, today I made, I made us, and the, the, I do very well with pictures. Um, pictures are really um, the way that my mind works. It makes sense to me to fill in boxes. So I made a meal planning calendar. There are a lot of these um, available to you online, um, but basically it's just Sunday to Saturday or you know, whatever day you're starting on. So like I would say I started mine on Sunday because that is going to be what, um, that, that was gonna be the first day that we were gonna be away. We, were, we left on Sunday yesterday afternoon, so I started here, um, and then for our vacation, I actually just used this chunk, the Sunday to Wednesday, um, and then we'll, you know, we'll figure out leftovers and things. So I didn't go the whole week, but I think that if you're going to try to go the whole week, it's good for you to write out this and then have yourself a, um, like a grocery list on the side. So we're going to be making two lists um, at once, but it's more like we're going to fill this out and then we're going to write down the things that we need. I think that it's important when you're doing a weekly grocery list to A, do an inventory of what's already in your fridge and use those items. So add those to your list first. Um, so I'm going to say that we brought food for one breakfast that's like you know like a camp breakfast we brought some bacon we brought some bread we bought uh, brought some uh, eggs and so we'll have one camp breakfast but one of the things that I had in my pantry and one of the things that um, 
I like to eat in the morning is uh, an oatmeal raisin walnut cliff bar. So specifically for me, breakfast is not that big of a deal. I always have eggs in the house, so if I feel like I want a little bit more for breakfast, I'll make myself an egg or two. Um, but breakfasts don't tend to take up a lot of space on my lists. They might take up more on yours. If you've got kiddos, maybe they're eating Eggo waffles, or maybe uh, maybe you guys are an egg family, or maybe you guys are a bar family, or you know maybe they even have like a kitty protein shake in the morning. I don't know what your kids are eating, but I think that that is a really easy thing to just say, okay, well, for breakfasts, and this is what I did, is for breakfasts, I'm going to we're going to bring stuff for one breakfast, one camp breakfast. Camp breakfast. And I'm writing this on here. We're going to bring things for one camp breakfast, but the other days I want my bar and I want fresh fruit. So that's what my breakfast was this morning. That's what I've been eating off of today. This is the remnants of my bar and some delicious grapes that I ordered from Costco. Um, I've also got some blueberries in there. Now we were ordering from Costco, so there's a lot of them and we will end up taking some home, but no regrets on that. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, I wrote camp breakfast on here, but I get so excited about breakfast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross off the meals that I don't have to worry about. So Sunday morning, I didn't have to worry about planning those because, you know, we were going to be at home. So I just ate whatever. Um, and then actually Sunday lunch, I didn't plan for either. We, we ended up on the road stopping at Whataburger and we haven't had fast food or gone through a drive through in a really long time. So it was really exciting to, you know, to do that. It felt like we were, you know, doing something kind of vacation-y just because, we, like I said, we don't eat fast food that much. So my list looked like this Wednesday and then like this. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oops, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I didn't have on here. But this is what my this is what my um my weekly list looked like so that I could go traveling. I wasn't worried about Sunday breakfast. I wasn't worried about Sunday lunch. I wasn't worried about Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening. That was something that we could deal with when we got home. Or maybe we'll order in food on Wednesday night, or maybe we'll have leftovers. But this is what my list looked like. Before I even started, I put the X's in, and I said, you know what? X out, X out the meals that I don't need. So what I'm coming up with is that I need three breakfasts, two lunches, and three dinners. And that's how I planned my menu. So chances are, I don't know if we'll do camp breakfast tomorrow. We'll probably do camp breakfast on Wednesday, but one of the mornings is going to be a camp breakfast. The rest of the days I'm going to have a bar, my bars and fruit. So bar and fruit. I'm going to put that on here. And so this is like, this is like your basic meal planning sort of situation, right? And so I would cross these off, but guys, I'm going to use this after this video to plan the rest of our week's meals out and decide whether I need to go to the store and when I need to go to the store when we get back. Um, and I might even plan out a few more days um, and just, you know, try eating that way. Um, because there is a meal, like I really wanted to do a grill night one night this week um, and have Jeremy grill some shrimps. So I'm going to put that on our calendar and figure out when it is that I need to go to the store so I can buy shrimps. Okay, so I'm just going to leave these here. We're going to leave those blank. So I know what I'm going to have. So what I would put, I would have like a grocery list maybe. And then, and I love lists, so that's a thing. I would have a grocery list maybe, and then a list of the things that you need to bring from your house. So on my house list, I'll make this my house list, I'll put two, two bars, right? So I'm gonna bring that. And then on the grocery list, I would write fruit. And that's what I'm gonna buy from Costco. Now, I didn't know what fruits are in season, so I'm gonna go seasonal on that, or for what's, in, what's available. There's a lot of things that aren't available right now. I thought to go mangoes, but when I went on Costco's website, they didn't have any, but they did have blueberries and um, 
uh, grapes and I've had really good luck with their blueberries. So that's what I ended up getting. So I've got my, my fruits. I've got my camp breakfast. Camp breakfast for us was, and we had at home. So here, let's, let's do this, right? We're going to go to the next list. And this is why these, these, these are great. These are great. So I'm going to say home list and Costco or groceries. Grocery. Grocery list. So here I put bars. Here I put fruit. Uh, camp breakfast. I've, I had all the stuff for that. I had bacon in the freezer. So bacon. And I had eggs. So the reason why I've got my two lists is because when I was planning our weekly menu, I was planning a weekly menu where we were going to go away. Now, this might not be the same for you. You might be planning a weekly menu at home. But the reason why then you would look at this list, the home list, is not because you're going to pack it up, but because it's good to know what you have in your house so that you don't rebuy eggs. Um, and so taking an inventory of the things that are in your fridge, as I said before, will really save you money in the long run and also decrease waste. So these are things that I knew that I had at home. This is something that I needed, um, fresh fruit every week. I like to have fresh fruit in the house. It's great to, you know, munch on and things like that. So, um, I needed to do two lunches, easiest lunches, sandwiches or salads right now. Um, that those are the things that we eat for lunch. Um, sometimes we skip lunch. So, um, I wanted to have kind of an option going on Costco's website. I found some chicken salad, um, and I actually ordered a couple of salads to go along with our dinners. So I was like, you know what? The salads are like great old salads. They're very large. So I was like, well, we can, you know, eat on the salads for lunch and then dinner as we need to. So, um, what I needed to order then, we're going to flip to the next page, is for sandwiches, I needed bread. So that I bought. Um, and I needed some sort of meat. And in this case, it ended up being chicken salad. That's what looked good on their website. Uh, they make it in the deli, and that was delish. Um, and then I'm going to write actual salad. And I got, I got two salads. You can get like bag salads and stuff. One of the things I like about the salads that are pre-made from Costco is that they're larger. They come with separate dressings, so you can get at least two salads out of them. And like, I will put like some of the spinach from one of the salads on my sandwich if I have a sandwich or I'll just like plop some chicken salad on top of a salad for my lunch. So I'm excited about that. Um, and... So that's what I'm going to put. I'm going to put chicken salad on both of these days or a lot of times like um, one of the things to not forget to plan as you're going through your week is that like I'm like we're having chicken salad, but we also have leftover uh, dinner from last night. So it's actually really useful. And my sister does this quite a lot um, or actually both of my sisters. One of them does meals like the ones that come in the boxes. Um, and if you want to figure out how much you eat or you don't want to go to the store and you want to kind of see what it's like to plan meals into your week a couple of times a week, doing those meal boxes are a great way to start off um, because then somebody else does the shopping for you and you can kind of tell how much food you eat and um, how much, you know, is left over and whether you eat leftovers. Some people just don't eat leftovers. So there are leftovers for lunch if we want to do that. Um, chicken, salad, so I'm writing that on here. Or leftovers for lunches. Lunches are a great time for leftovers. So then I have three dinners. And actually, believe it or not, dinner is what I plan first. So I'm starting at the beginning of the day because I think that it works well for the video. But generally speaking, gen dinner is my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> so I plan that first. Um, and like I, like you saw, I eat a bar and fruit. 
that's, you know, kind of what I do. So it's not hard to plan for that. Um, but I do like to count the number of meals. So three breakfasts, check. Two lunches, check. We've got our two lists, the things that I have at home and the things that I need to buy. And this is what I'm putting into my Costco order, right? This is my Costco cart. Um, and then we've got three dinners. So what I decided to do, and one of the reasons why I decided to order from Costco, outside of the fact that they're doing a very good job at, infor or at um, recommending and making it easy for you to follow social distancing rules, um, is that they have a couple of meals that we have um, on a regular basis, or semi-regular basis, I guess, that I don't have to cook in someone else's kitchen. So we're using the plates in here. If you wanted, when if you're going away and you decide that, hey, I'm gonna bring all of my food and also I'm not gonna use somebody else's dishes, you can bring your own plates and forks and cups so that you're not using dishes if you're worried about that. We're not as worried about that. Um, you know, we'll wash our dishes as we go, but I didn't want to get to a place that I had never been before um, and have to worry about the utensils that were in the kitchen. I didn't want to do like an intense cooking and bring a lot of ingredients. I wanted to bring meals along with me. This is very common, I think, um, for what I'm using, um, and it was the way that I tried to keep us as um, organized and as socially responsible as possible, but also with families, I think it's really nice to be able to have a few meals that you're not having to start from scratch on. That does mean that you're eating a little bit more processed, but it also means that you're putting in a little bit less work and you're able to spend a little bit more time doing the things that you love to do um, and spending time with the people that you love the most and also eating delicious food. So some of the things, um, one of the things that I had decided that we were going to use along the way was um, a taco kit. They have a delicious taco kit um, at, uh, at Costco. And so it comes with, you know, chicken and tortillas. And then it's got like some salad, uh, salsa and like a crema and then cheese and you can make your own tacos. So that was one of the things that I decided that we were gonna do. And then I decided that we were gonna use one of their um, house-made pastas. So they make like a pasta tray. So last night we actually made, we actually ate pasta. They've got different varieties. Um, we did the Alfredo, um, but they have a bunch of other delicious varieties. And I think your, your local grocery store probably has something that's similar to that. It would have been very simple for me to make like spaghetti or something like that um, here, but I just, you know, like I said, decided that I didn't want to think or worry about preparing foods in someone else's kitchen. I just wanted to have something that we could put into the oven or that we could warm up a little bit and be able to eat well. So, um, tonight or tomorrow, doesn't matter which one, the other meals. So I said the taco kit, I don't know what we're eating tonight, but we've got options. Um, so we've got the taco kit. And then the other thing that we brought is frozen pizza. That is only based on the fact that when Jeremy and I travel every night or at once, every trip that we have, it's become like a tradition that we have. We make frozen pizza in our apartment, whatever place we, 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 um, stay at. If we're in a place like we were in a place in Chicago, we ordered Chicago style pizza. Okay. Like we're not crazy, but one night we have pizza. It's just what we do. We stay in, we watch our favorite shows. We, um, get cozy. We drink wine and we eat pizza and that's what we do. Costco has a box that comes with like four pizzas in it. Um, and they're like a smaller style pizza. So we usually make two, but sometimes we make one and I've got those delicious salads. Oh yeah. We had salad last night. So we will, the, the third meal that we had was, um, frozen pizza. And salad. So those are our three dinners. Pasta and salad, tacos, frozen pizza and salad. Um, 
if we're going to add those to our lists, I'm going to flip the page, home things. Uh, I didn't, I actually had the frozen pizza already because it's a box of four. So frozen pizza was something that I brought with us. Grocery delivery from Costco um, was the salad, um, the taco kit, and the pasta. And that's what I ordered from Costco. I also ordered, I think, maybe some M&Ms. I brought some brownie mix from home. And this isn't stuff, this is stuff that like if you're hanging out and you want to write down more things, then that's fine. But this takes care of your basic meals and then you can go through your kitchen and if you got snick snacks and things that you wanna bring along with you, I brought some things for a cheese board that we had hanging out in the house. Um, I brought a couple of bottles of wine. I brought one bottle of sparkling water. That's what I brought on our trip. Um, but you know, eating off the things in your house if you're staying, if you're still staying in, um, is you know you definitely want to kind of decrease waste. So this is our this is my three day meal plan. We will have leftovers from this. Um, and the food that we brought. So probably for at least at least lunches for the rest of the week will be all set um, because we'll have like little bits and pieces of um, little bits and pieces of the pasta, maybe little bits and pieces of the taco, uh, the tacos. Um, so we're gonna plan those in probably as lunches, and then um, I'll plan a couple of dinners for the rest of the week, and I'll go shopping again. But because I knew, like I said, because I knew shop shop wise that this is what I was doing. This was my weekly planning for the week. Um, and that's the way that I do it. I hope that this was useful to you. Um, if you have questions, you can let me know. What else would I say about meal planning? Um, you can recreate your leftovers in interesting ways. So let's say you don't want to eat tacos two days in a row, right? We're going to take some tacos home. Usually there's enough for two meals and it's like a taco chicken. So let's say you don't want tacos. We get home on uh, Wednesday night and we decide, oh, we don't want tacos. Well, a really easy way that we've used to re or that we've figured out to reuse meat is by making like a Texas nacho or like to we call them tostadas is that we've got tostadas at home. They last for forever, ever. Um, if you just buy like a big old sleeve of them and we, a couple of refried beans, throw the chicken on top, throw the cheese on top, put it in the oven at 400 degrees or 425 for, you know, like five minutes. And you've got yourself a delicious meal that's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like tacos, but it's not tacos. Um, reusing your leftovers in, um, creative ways is a really uh, useful and thoughtful activity in your home to increase variety in your days and also to try to decrease waste in a time where we're really having to create a little bit more waste to be socially responsible um, in, you know, like paper plates and things and the masks and gloves that we're using and stuff. I think that that's kind of something that we forget about as we're doing this is that we're having to use a lot more disposable stuff um, to try to stay safe. And I think that's fine. Um, we have to do that. It is the best that we can do. Um, but there are ways to decrease waste during this time and, you know, definitely recycle, recycle, recycle. Um, we're trying to be the best citizens that we can um, of the earth as we're, as we're going along. And one of the ways that we can do that is by, like, this is a lot of food for three days. Um, when you're filling out your weekly, um, your weekly meal planning, if that's the way that you decide to do it, especially if you're, you don't want to go to the store a lot of times, which is super great, um, is just to note as you continue shopping and as you go through, um, that you don't have to have a different meal for every night, um, because leftovers are real. Now, maybe you have a family 
or like a larger, yeah, like a larger family sort of situation. And you guys don't have leftovers very often. And it's not as useful to you to think about leftovers. And if that's the case, then that, you know, that's great. It may be useful for you then to make a bigger meal um, on less days so that you can have leftovers so that you don't have to make a different meal every single day. Not that that's not a great creative outlet because that's one of the ways that I um, uh, practice my creativity, but that there are some days when I'm like, I don't want to cook today. I'm tired of cooking now. <laughs> you know, we all need a break, even from our creative outlets. So um, keep that in mind when you're filling out your your weekly um your weekly meal plan. Also, I would say that this isn't a, week, a normal weekly plan for us. Like I said, this is a lot of things that someone else has prepared for us. Um, if you're, I, I would plan on doing a lot more cooking were I not away. And I would steer clear of making, like if you get really excited and you want to try something new, do it but maybe only do it on one of the days. Don't start off with a menu, a weekly planning menu of entirely of foods that you A, never eat, and B, have never made before. If you're deciding that it's gonna be really exciting to be able to cook something new, maybe pick one new thing a week, and on the other days, lean on things that are familiar to you, that it doesn't take as much thought or maybe as much prep time to create them. Um, you will wear yourself out and um, maybe become tired with a meal planning process, especially if you decide that to do too many things at once, where you're like, well, I'm gonna meal plan, I'm gonna eat a bunch of foods that I've never eaten before, I'm gonna try all new things, I'm gonna make a new thing every day, and it just gets to be a lot. Um, if you wanna do more new foods, so like, like two and three times a week, you really want to start eating differently. Like I said, the meal, some of those meal plan boxes may be for you. I've seen, you know, some of my friends are doing like the vegan boxes or um, Jeremy and I did plated for a while and they did a lot of like around the world cuisine. So they would do Spanish meals and Greek meals and um, they were really exciting. And we learned a lot about making different types of foods. Um, and so there are ways to be creative and have your food delivered to you in boxes. Um, so if that's the way that you want to go with this, it's a great way to start meal planning and to realize whether you have leftovers or not based on how much food you, um, you receive. But if you're planning on doing a little bit more a little bit more of like a meal planning lifestyle using the foods that you're currently eating but also with a little bit of an edge of oh, I wonder if I can make oh I don't know like my I guess my mind I've got carbs on the mind I'm thinking like lasagna but even like maybe kebabs or something like maybe you've never made a kebab before and you want to see if that's something that you like to do maybe that's your uh like um your exotic meal of the week is that you're putting kebabs together. But maybe the other nights of the week you do things that you already know how to make. So maybe it's even like dinners that are sandwiches or maybe you have a rice cooker and you um, you normally will make like a stir fry or something. Or maybe stir fry is something you've never made and that's what you wanna make. But the other nights of the week you put together something that is easy for you that you've done before like tacos or sandwiches or um, pastas are usually pretty easy or like meatloaf is something that's very easy for me. We always have leftovers. Jeremy loves it. Um, tostadas are very easy for us. Um, grilling is very easy for us. And then I just put together a couple of vegetable sides. Um, so I think that's what I have to say about that. Take it in small chunks. Um, don't get down on yourself. This is this can be a really fun thing. And in the case of this week, um, putting together like 
my putting together my two lists, the one, the things that I was taking from home and the things that I was putting, that I was taking, getting from the store. Um, and then, you know, having received that order because we needed groceries anyway, and then having brought it to a place that was different. And then knowing that the work that I put in to do this made it possible for us to do something that we didn't think was possible. So weekly meal planning can definitely be a way to ground into your space. Um, and it may be a very creative and um, organized and maybe even we'll call it innovative way to travel short distances in safe ways um, during this time when we're trying to be safe and we're trying to flatten the curve and we're trying to be the best humans that we can be, um, perhaps meal planning is good for that too. So I hope that you have a lovely day um, and that you enjoy yourself. I certainly am going to do that here. Um, and I hope to see you all on the next episode of How to Stay at Home Act.